afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Kerry Ryan, Head of Traffic and Transport Management for Hull City Council, and I'm here to talk to you about um, uh, working collaboratively with Simplify AI systems. As part of our Hull City Council's successful bid for the Traffic Signal Maintenance Fund, we included a commitment to procure a solution and a programme to help enrich our smart city platform. In addition to facing the challenges seen across the sector, such as availability and a shortage of skills and decision making, a decision was made to invest in a system that not only could provide us with the data that we want, but also the help to, to help to support the team everyday activities such as managing the network. The projects which my intelligent transport team have led on have been working with Simplify to show us how we can use data positively by using AI to improve traffic flow in the city at the identified locations. After initial discussions, we as a local authority had to decide what our objectives were and we wanted to achieve the best from this project. Like most councils, we are trying to strive, strike a fine balance between active travel promotion whilst reducing congestion and encouraging economic growth and investment. It's a difficult balance to achieve. The initial investment by the Traffic Signals Maintenance Grant allowed us to concentrate on up to 20 intersections in with, sorry, 20 intersections. So we set out identifying the where and the why. We settled on five key areas that produced a range of challenges and objectives around the city. Annaby Road, which is close to the A63, City Centre Hospital, KC Stadium with a capacity of up to 25,000 and on a main bus key corridor. Freetown Way, it's a vital cross city link which has recently been reduced in capacity due to a pop up cycle infrastructure and is a natural alternative to the A63. And Cottingham Road has Hull's University, a number of schools, a heavy bus corridor at peak time demands with close other strategic routes. And Springbank, close to the city centre, with the bus routes that merge to the traffic lanes, a popular shopping area, and another main corridor west of the city. And lastly, County Road North forms part of our inner ring road route, has a mixture of use of residential, academic and industrial usage. So the first stage after that was to identify what faces each user, what issue, sorry, faces each user and how we would improve the experience for all when using the network. Who would we prioritise? Why would we get, why would they get priority? And what was the factors that influenced our decision? Once we've decided all this information, we fed back to Simplify, who, who we'd already given access to various data sources. These data sources fed into Simplify's algorithm, and then the computer did its magic. By processing multiple variations of solutions, the AI typically produced an answer in a matter of seconds or even minutes, depending on how much information we must consider to evaluate. By looking at this, this historical data, the school and the AI, the skill the AI system can produce was the best possible outcome. The results of this is a range of fixed term plans where the AI system can, thinks it can improve the existing school system and help set the goals, achieve the goals set, sorry. Before moving on to the initial results, I would just like to mention the companies that we have engaged with in this project. Without their collaboration and joint effort, our story may have been quite different. From Simplify and their attention to detail, Clearview allowing us to access the Unrix data through the Insight Journey platform, and Unix agreeing us to set up the function that allows Simplify to download the scoop messaging via the shared folder, it really has been a collaboration brought about by Hull City Council. So taken to the streets, Annabelle Road was our first case study, with the aim to lower bus journey times through the corridor at peak times. This corridor is into the city centre as the, from the west of the city, with the hospital and the KC Stadium, both accessed from by this route. Along this area are four major intersections that are under traffic signal control over two different scoop regions. When compared to a similar week on the network, for example, no school holidays, no events, the results are very pleasing and quite remarkable. 
table shown is lifted from a comparison presented to us provided by Simplify in early March. Firstly, we're not saying that AI has all the answers, but it certainly can help. The AI actually identified that it could not improve the AMP journey time on a Friday, so we left the scoop to do its thing on, this, on Friday mornings. But it did identify for the journey times between 7.30 and 9am, Monday to Thursday, and on a PM journey between 4pm and 5.30pm, Monday to Friday, the results show that on average, the journey time was reduced across Monday to Thursday between 7.30 and 9 by 16.86%. On, and on a Monday to Friday between 4pm and 5.30pm by 7.03%. Simplify have converted these figures into hours saved and added an economic value to show how this exercise may have had a positive impact on the local whole economy. The slides show that a, that a total of over 87 hours reduced delayed across the whole time this was implemented. Amazingly, by associating a very modest £12 per hour economic value, so these hours saved, we are looking at over £180,000 worth of economic value back into society. So what's next? In the immediate future, we are working to move this technology onto other areas identified across the city. And we will provide some solutions to the problems we have identified. Hopefully, we'll have more success stories. Ultimately, local authorities are struggling with the challenge of lack of available skills, so if this system helps us overcome the problem of losing skilled people, which creates gaps in succession planning, then systems like this will be of a massive benefit to us all. The modes of transport on the slide are shown are all pie-in-the-sky ideas, but ones that are not far from achieving on a mass scale. But whatever the future brings, we will always need control systems and the ability to analyse what can be for it to make sure that we continue to improve the services we offer. Well, maybe not Mary Poppins, but <laughs> get the idea. Lastly, we have had a lot of positive press, press information. Sorry, we've had lots of positive press and interest regarding this project. Sometimes it's hard to come by being in transport and manage traffic management. This is a credit to all involved, and it's great to be able to share some of the good work. A lot of the local authorities have already reached out to us to ask for demos and discussions, and we are more than open to conversations. If you'd like to discuss more, please come and see myself or my RTS manager, Sean Higgins, over the next couple of days. Simplify are also here, um, who I'm sure will be delighted to answer any technical questions, which I definitely cannot. <laughs> Thank you.